So Logan Paul, you guys remember Crypto Zoo? Yeah. Logan Paul was actually suing CoffeeZilla. Yep, happened yesterday. People wanted me to look at it. I didn't get a chance to. Finally, we're going to look at it. That's right. Here we go. Logan Paul is suing me for CryptoZoo only a year after he thanked me for it. Rather right. than pay back his victims fully, Logan would rather publicly humiliate himself in court by accusing me of defaming him. He's hired five lawyers to sue me, which he hopes yep. will stop me from exposing him again. You see, only hours before this lawsuit was filed, I had reached out to Logan Paul mm -hmm. about a new investigation into one of his companies, which has just been accused. <laughs> There's another one? Oh my god! Holy shit! Used ...by the Canadian government of being a multi-layered fraud in Canada. I obviously had questions, uh -huh. but before I was able to get answers, Logan's team of lawyers showed up to silence me. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to go through this lawsuit. I'm going to tell you how to support uh -huh. us if you want, because while I didn't think I'd need help, I was wrong. But before we get to my mistake, let's start with Logan's. Okay. This lawsuit is not about Logan Paul getting defamed. Instead, what? this is about him trying to dodge accountability, victims, and blame anyone but himself for his problems, especially me. This lawsuit says Logan Paul wants to hold me accountable for my actions. But what actions what a yeah, what do you are those? What are you talking about? Him accountable? It's ironic because his lawyers claim for the immense harm that he has caused to Paul's reputation through the intentional and reckless dissemination of defamatory falsehoods. Well, then you have to prove that they're fake, right? Logan has learned to believe in the importance of accountability. Yeah. But accountability for who? Currently, Logan is fighting the victims of CryptoZoo in court, and now he's fighting the journalist who exposed him in the first place. Naturally. Personally, I believe Logan has learned nothing from this except how to silence people with the law. Naturally. But I won't be silenced because Logan's lawsuit makes no sense. We're going to go through it because from the beginning, there's problems. Logan's five lawyers tried to A self-described investigative journalist and internet detective with no actual journalism training. Or a private investigator's license to hold them accountable for maliciously, repeatedly publishing false statements. Okay, so so what was the false statement, though? Me as a journalist. Where is it? They paint me as someone who wanted money. They say I had a false and malicious narrative. Knowing that but was... you know who doesn't believe that? You know who secretly praises me behind the scenes? Logan Paul. This journalist, YouTuber, crypto uncoverer guy named CoffeeZilla, who's f incredible, by the way. A very... This is amazing. Bro, Logan Paul, I mean, you've got to admit, he's such a great villain, isn't he? He is such a great villain. Man. He a really thorough, is. Yeah. Um, this is amazing. Good-hearted, smart guy. Of course. Did a deep dive into this project that I attempted to make called CryptoZoo. Yeah. That's right. It's Logan Paul. He's the biggest enemy of Logan Paul's defamation case. Who knew? Because defamation requires actual malice and a reckless disregard for the truth. But he just admitted or, on camera yeah. that I am thorough and good-hearted. Maybe that's why he wanted to remove that video from the internet, according Ooh. to the YouTuber who released it. The only issue that was ever communicated was remove this crypto stuff, remove this crypto zoo stuff. If crypto zoo is in there, coffee zill is in there, I'm not gonna promote it. Yeah. Remove that CryptoZoo stuff, that CoffeeZilla stuff. Doesn't look- Why would you say it if you wanted it removed? Why the fuck would you say that? You know you're being recorded. Why would you even say it? I don't understand. Good when you compliment the guy you're trying to sue. Yes. Maybe that's why Logan isn't even suing me for my original investigation at all. What? Despite most of this lawsuit being a ridiculous fanfic about how I took Logan out of context, that Logan was a victim, right. that I withheld text messages, Logan isn't suing me for any of the original investigation, though, because he knows he can't. Instead, at the end of the lawsuit, we find what my defamation really is. I'm being sued for two videos and one tweet where I advocated for refunds for the victims. Yes, you heard me right. Logan Paul sued me after I tried to get 
his fans, the CryptoZoo investors, a full refund. How? Remember there are two parts to CryptoZoo, the NFTs and the zoo tokens, and Logan chose only to refund the NFTs, which is yeah. a minority of the losses. And I had- Well, he basically, my, my understanding of this was that Logan Paul, like people lost $10 million and Logan Paul said, it's okay, I'm going to give you $1.5 million. And everybody was like, wow. Hey, he's not so bad, huh? How about that? Which, by the way, it works. I did this with a guild bank back in the Wrath of the Witch King. Everybody in the guild loved it. Because yeah, this works really well. I told Logan People are so dumb. Over and over my opinion that it is disappointing you know, for someone as rich as Logan to not make things fully right and instead only pay back a small part but of the losses video game. while fighting the rest of the victims in court. And it's those videos yeah. and tweet where I ask for refunds, which I'm being sued for. The first video in question is about Logan Paul not paying out refunds for six months. The second video was about Logan's partial refund, having a clause to make sure you couldn't sue him for the rest of your refund. Well, I mean, if, if he's saying it, I mean. And the tweet, I simply said, Logan's the type of guy to thank you for exposing a scam and block you when you remind him to pay up. God, man. The craziest thing about all of this is the fact that the first time Logan Paul had like a big pop off was when he recorded dead people in a suicide forest in Japan. It's like this dude has been a villain for so long, man. It's insane. Like, he was big already. No, but like that was the first big controversy, right? Because he was on Vine, like him and his brother were on Vine, and they were popping off on Vine, they were doing great. Vine shuts down, they go to YouTube, and oh yeah, remember London is my city? I mean, yeah, now he's the type of guy to then sue you. Now I'm yeah. sure Logan doesn't like it when I say things like Logan's victims or Logan's scam, but I have a question. If they're not Logan's victims, whose victims are they? Even Logan admits they are victims. He told me via text, just thought we had the same goal of helping victims instead of a divisive social media war. I see that. Why would you like this is the problem is like if Logan Paul had just exhibited a little bit more forced forethought, I feel like he'd be in such a better position. Like you've put yourself in this position by saying this. Why did you let this happen? Like, why would you say this? There's no reason you needed to say this. So he agrees people have been wronged by his game. Uh -huh. You know, the thing that he said will earn you money. It's a really fun game that makes you money. So how are these not Logan's victims? He, of course, would say it's his business partner's right. fault. But remember, Jake and Eddie have been out of the picture for years. And yet, CryptoZoo hasn't been released despite Logan constantly promising it, and of course, also threatening to sue me. We're gonna handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. By the time this comes out, it'll be done. The funny thing about this is that if it wasn't for this lawsuit, Logan Paul would have been done with CryptoZoo. Like, I actually think it's stupid of Logan Paul to sue him. Because like, all this is gonna do is it's gonna bring it up again. All you had to do was shut your fucking mouth and just move on because the internet had moved on beyond CryptoZoo. Like Logan Paul was six months away being able to meme about the fact that he scammed all these guys. Like, oh yeah, uh -huh, yeah, remember, remember CryptoZoo? Yeah, that was crazy, huh? Yeah, it sure was. And that was it. Like, why were you doing this? You act like he has any sense, Logan. Well, the thing is, Logan Paul has done a number of things that I think are really smart, right? Like, I think that him being in wrestling, I think he's great in wrestling. And I think that he's also great with what he did with Prime. I think both of these things are great. So it's like, man, there's a, there's a reason later? I guess so. I, it, he's impulsive? He is. The game's going to be made. You're going to have the opportunity to get your money back if you want, if you don't yeah. want to play the game. And I'm going to take care of the people who made me look like it, it, this was a scam perpetrated by me. Right. Logan wants to sue me and release a finished CryptoZoo game, but he's only right. done one of those. Since Logan can't blame his partners, Jake and maybe, Eddie... For maybe he needs the money from CoffeeZilla so he can finish the game. This, That's what it is. They've been out of the picture 
You think he'll take accountability for not launching CryptoZoo? No. no. Never, never. This time, he blames the government. He says releasing CryptoZoo has too many regulatory hurdles. Maybe they should have thought of that before multi-millions of dollars they of took the money. tokens yeah, and they eggs they still were took sold. The money. And now Logan would rather blame the government than take accountability. Or this is not feasible for regulatory reasons that Paul had never previously been apprised. Not knowing something doesn't mean that, like, I mean, negligence or ignorance is not an excuse to take people's money and then hold on to it. I mean, that's not how it works. If I say, hey, guys, I'm, I'm taking donations to buy a unicorn. Everybody donate $10 right now, and we're going to buy a unicorn. And then I get a million dollars. I get a million dollars to buy a unicorn. And then I say, guys, it turns out that you can't buy unicorns. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> I, I feel like if I didn't give people their money back, that'd be a fucking scam. It's not even a question. Or if you let him keep talking, Logan might rant about internet reporters having too much responsibility. These internet journalists, internet investigative reporters have way too much responsibility on their hands that is being mismanaged and wielded in a really inappropriate way. <laughs> the worst part about what Logan Paul is saying is that there are elements of him being right. That's the worst thing about it. Is that in like 5% of circumstances, 10% of circumstances, he's right. But here's the problem. This isn't one of them. It's not one of them. What are we doing? Accessibility, accountability, is that kryptonite? Yes. But not in his case. Yes. The React channels aren't reporters. I guess so. Stop holding me accountable. I mean, CoffeeZilla can't really hold Logan Paul accountable. Nobody can hold Logan Paul accountable except the government, right? Like, that's it. Like, you make a video about somebody, it's not like somebody has to do anything about it. Honestly funny to watch this guy whine about his problems, which you can barely hear over what sounds like a private jet. Yeah. Which brings me to another problem Logan has. Part of any defamation case is damages and proving someone has harmed your reputation. But isn't Logan richer than ever with Prime? Yep. And did he have a reputation to harm? Yeah, Is I mean, I've, I, I got to hand it to Logan Paul. He really popped off with that Prime shit. I never drank a single bottle of it. I never had it. Somebody said it tasted like syrup. I said, fuck that. I'm not going to drink it. But like, yeah, no, that's impressive. Bro. Like, he, he did work with that. He did. Lawsuit shows comments calling Logan a scammer, possibly to suggest sugar water? he's been hurt yeah, that's what by my videos. For. But you have to have a reputation to lose one. And by the time of my reporting in question, mm -hmm. Logan Paul was already accused of participating in multiple crypto pump and dump schemes. That article. I love this defense. CoffeeZilla, I couldn't destroy your reputation. You already destroyed your reputation and it was already shit before me. <laughs> and the thing is, he's right. He is. He's like, yeah, no, it's not my fault. Everybody hates you does not reference my work. So Logan had already had a reputation as a scammer before my investigation, at least if you believe their allegations. Yeah. So this lawsuit from beginning to end is groundless, meritless, frivolous. And Logan knows that because behind the scenes in clips, he didn't want to get out. He's saying I'm thorough and good hearted, but in public, mm -hmm. he wants to sue me, silence me and cost me money because what a, I just don't understand why he would do this. That's the one department where we both know He's got me beat. We might have facts. We might even have evidence. But he's got all the money and the lawyers. And this is where I have to get to my Revenge. one embarrassing mistake oh. in all of this. See, my defense against rich people like Logan Paul is media insurance, you know, for frivolous lawsuits. Yeah. So when I was sued, I immediately called my insurance company to file a claim so I wouldn't have to pay for it. But they told me mm -hmm. they're not going to pay. They're trying to get out of covering us using lawyers in fine print. It's a long story that I will be explaining on my second channel because insurance underwriting is very boring. But suffice to say, I got Dylan Danist. I may have even gotten scammed. I'm not quite sure. For now, the bottom line is we have to fight Logan with our personal funds, which means... That's interesting. I wonder why. I look forward to watching that. 
I need to ask for your support. Yeah. If you want to help and are able to help, there are two ways to contribute. By the way, I think all insurance is a scam. I do. I think it's all a scam. To our fight against Logan Paul. One, you can join our Patreon, which supports the channel. Or you can buy exclusive merch at coffeezilla.store. I'll have to buy a just shirt, man. The Coffeezilla defense track. Shall I buy a shirt? That's right. Life hands you lawsuits. You get rejected by your insurance. Yeah. Make merch. So here's the deal. These shirts will be available for pre-order for only the next 14 days. And 100% of profits yeah, we make one. from selling them will go to this lawsuit. Sure. If for some weird reason there's money left over, it will be dedicated to future legal costs for this channel. I just want to let you know they're available and it's a cool way to support the lawsuit while also getting something in return. I didn't mm -hmm. want to just set up a GoFundMe. So if you want to do that, just know pre-orders take a few weeks to get done because we make them after you order. And remember, you have 14 days and you can get that at CoffeeZilla. See, it's like I don't even like... In a way, like Logan Paul is very entertaining, but you can't like that entertainment goes away when you're like suing each other. So it's like you're taking the content away from us by trying to sue CoffeeZilla. Like, I, I don't want to see this. This is ruining everything. Yeah, now actually, yeah, what are you doing? Like, you're, you're probably not going to live stream the trial, so I'm out. Like, what's the fucking point? You're just, yeah, you're ruining everybody's fun. Store. I'll link that below. It's coffeezilla.store. All right. Now we're going to farm the results. Yeah. The final part of this lawsuit. Why did Logan Paul sue me now? It's been over a year since because you brought up the thing about his other company. Me. Thank you, Coffeezilla. I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. Bro, I remember Thank this. You. Thank you, bro. It might seem strange. But I've got some fun facts for you that may or may not be related. Did you know, six days before the lawsuit, I had featured uh -huh. Logan Paul in a teaser for a video? Did you know 21 hours before the lawsuit, I had texted Logan for comment? Did you know- Liquid Marketplace I got accused of, as did three of the top executives, given that I showed for uh, these allegations a year ago, I wanted to ask you a comment. Is it insider trading? I feel like that's about the length that it would need to be for insider trading. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it told him he had 24 hours to respond and logan sued me three hours before the deadline nice yep that's right logan's lawyers then threatened me i'm not sure if that really is i mean man that's a really big coincidence the only thing is like i feel like doing that and retaining a legal team would probably take more time than that but like i dude yeah i i don't know that lawsuit email that if I report on this new story, Logan might hold me accountable. And Logan's definition wait, of wait, wait, what did it say? this new story. Should you choose to proceed with any reporting on Liquid Marketplace, please know that Mr. Paul intends to hold you fully accountable. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so he did. All right, that makes sense. I got it now. Logan might hold me accountable. Yeah. And Logan's definition of accountability seems to mean he'll sue me. Which is why I believe this lawsuit was not designed to win, but to shut me up. Yeah. To threaten me, using Logan's wealth and a federal court system without anti-slap to send a message. Yep. Do not tell that story. Of course, I don't believe that's the only reason I was sued. Clearly, Logan wanted to I sue I don't me. think Logan Paul should... Like, that's such a bad idea because, like, obviously people are going to try to... Like, nobody wants this to happen. This is crazy. They don't have CoffeeZilla shut down. No, it's not about entertaining our content. It's it's serious, clearly, because CoffeeZilla is a real threat. Yeah. Whereas 3.9 million subscribers, he should have enough money for his own legal team and should not have to ask. Oh, CoffeeZilla, does he have 3.9 million? He has 3.7. But yeah, he's got a lot of people that watch. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, uh, it, lawsuits are really expensive. I mean, like, I, I, I honestly, I've never been through a, like, real like actual big lawsuit like this i bet it would probably be one and a half million dollars probably to get all this settled i i think probably if i had to guess from like what my understanding with like because we've like you know we've retained legal firms and stuff like that before i've had to do this before 
So I think probably some are 500k. No. See, like, I would agree with you, but I'm I'm not agreeing with that number because of how expansive Logan Paul's team is. Like, I, it, it's basically you're, you're going to war with somebody who's trying to oppress you through litigation. For a while, but I believe this new investigation played a role in pulling the trigger. Maybe Logan's team will deny this. Maybe they'll say it's coincidence they sued three hours before a deadline. Maybe it's coincidence right. I announced a story about Logan six days before, and maybe it's coincidence that Logan's lawyers threatened me about this new story while suing me for the last story that I- I think that there's a chance that one of these things is a coincidence, but it's unlikely that all of them are. ...hadn't discussed in six months, but I don't think so. Yeah. Either way, when someone threatens new reporting in a lawsuit about old reporting, the effect is mm -hmm. the same. So, what was this new story? Well, it's partly about a Canadian law enforcement investigation, and it's partly about something I told Logan to help him. Mm -hmm. Yes, believe it or not, I tried to help Logan Paul. Wow. To explain, we need to go back to when CryptoZoo first got exposed. Logan said he was going to sue me, but got yeah, back. Yeah, I just, I can't see this winning at all. Extra, I'm always trying to find a dollars stake. Okay, give me a sec. Clash. So he called me to apologize. He said he was wrong yeah. and wanted to make things right. I made it clear. So he said he was wrong? Uh, I, this is crazy. Why would you say that you were wrong? Why would you do that? You should have never said you were wrong. How is this happening? Those are the absolute right move going forward. And to my surprise, he agreed. 100%, man. We're on the same page. 100%. But we weren't. Logan now doesn't use the word refund. He calls this mm -hmm. a buyback. But at the time... Logan I Paul could ask for a $10 million settlement and use his settlement money to pay off everyone getting good optics. The ultimate scam. So Logan Paul scams everybody. Somebody exposes him for scamming everybody. Logan Paul ex sues the person who exposes him and then takes the money that he wins from the lawsuit from the person who exposed him for scamming to pay back the people who were scammed to win back the audience and the public. That's so fucking stupid. And this is America. I want you guys to know that there is a non-zero chance of that happening. That's crazy. That is, yeah, that is super villain status. Absolutely. I need you to understand. I thought Logan was going to announce a full mm -hmm. refund. So I began trying to help him. And dare I say, I was even nice to the guy. You can see that I tried to offer people who might be able to trace blockchain yeah. damages to refund people. And in the same spirit, I made Logan aware of potential problems at a different company he co-owned called Liquid Marketplace. On a platform that I co-founded called Liquid Marketplace. It What's allows co-ownership of top tier assets. So instead of one person, me- Oh, no, this isn't like, yeah, people do this with art already. Is this new? This is actually a good idea. This card, we as a collective can co-own it together. That's this was smart. a fractionalized collectible platform where Logan sold things- Yeah, no, this is, a, I, I'm gonna be on. I think that's actually a really good idea for him to do that. It's a laundering front? Yeah, this is such a good idea. Like roughly half of a $5 million card. It was Pokemon a scam? Card. Yeah, well, that's how you make the money. The idea was you could buy tokens that represented partial yeah. ownership in rare collectibles. Right. Uh, that video, by the way, got 8 million views. And a lot of people bought into this platform. The problem was I had heard troubling stories about this company. And I was trying to verify if the claims were true. So I had gone to the mm -hmm. CEO, Ryan Bahadori, to ask him questions, but he kept dodging meetings. And I don't mean he refused meeting with me. I mean, we would set up meetings and then he did not show up. Oops. So I was Oops. troubled and I brought this up to Logan. I figured if he's going to make one company right, make them all right. Otherwise, it might come back to bite him. I mean, can you imagine the disaster? If another one of Logan Paul's co-founded companies was discovered to have scammed his fans? Hypothet I mean, that'd be a good start. I mean, yeah. I could easily see that happening. Absolutely. I don't, yeah, I don't even need to like, yeah. Could you believe this? Yeah, I could believe it. Medically, that would be a very bad look. 
So I'm thinking mm -hmm. while he refunds CryptoZoo, Logan can push the CEO to talk with me and I can right. figure out the truth. Smart. Maybe Logan can fix it if there's something wrong. Reasonable. And you can see Logan responds to me. He says, gonna push Ryan to talk to you. Again, appreciate it, man. Now, I don't hear back from Ryan or Logan about this. So after a while, I follow up again. See, I that's the smart. Like Logan Paul was responsive. That was smart. Because you tell somebody something that gets them like, that's what you do, right? Is you tell them what they want to hear, then you just don't do it. See, now, now, maybe now he's finally getting smart. Let me know if Ryan plans on talking. Yeah. A lot of nasty stories still out there about Liquid Marketplace, embezzlement, mm -hmm. etc. And he's dodged meeting me already once. Now, obviously, right. the most shocking part of this is the word embezzlement. I need to Ooh. make it clear. This is not an accusation. I am not accusing Logan Paul or Liquid. <laughs> he doesn't want to have it happen again. <laughs> He's like, guys, listen, I don't want to fucking deal with this shit again. I'm not accusing him of this, but this is just the word, right? Disclaim. Yep. All right. Good marketplace of wrongdoing. I brought it up in our texts because it is my job to investigate unverified claims. That's right. the whole point of me wanting to meet with the CEO, but I was stonewalled. Logan never replied, despite me reminding him again via email five months later For five that months. I wanted to talk to Ryan about, quote, embezzlement and, quote, yeah. potential fraud. Once again, not accusing anyone of wrongdoing. I'm simply doing my job at the time to chase down rumors and unverified claims. Without concrete proof, I would have never talked about any of this. Sure. But on June 19th, 2024, things changed Ooh. because the Ontario Securities Commission revealed a liquid oh, oh. Fuck. marketplace investigation where they accused liquid marketplace of being a multi-layered fraud, taking in two. No way. You tell me he doing it again. No way, he doing it again. Oh no. Point seven million dollars from the sale of these fractionalized collectibles. Uh -huh. The platform allegedly did not do exactly what it promised. Some of the blockchain. What, what, what did that do? Allegedly the false and misleading representations exposed token, token purchasers to undisclosed risks, caused investor losses, and benefited LMP. Wow. Probably did on not transaction do exactly fees. Exactly what it promised. Some yeah. of the blockchain tokens did not even mint. But even worse was the allegation that approximately $3 million was misappropriated from $10 million they raised mm -hmm. of investor funds. This is a very similar claim to the one I had tried to verify. Ryan Bahadori, the guy I tried to speak to, was accused of, quote, making hidden payments to shell corporations without any legitimate business purpose. As I'm going to tell you guys what I think happened. I bet they raised $10 million to investors, and the investors found out about this, that they were doing this, and they were the ones that probably went to the government. That's probably what happened, is that they probably fucked up by taking money from actual investors. We pledged the money. No, yeah, these guys are not going to fuck around, though. Like, absolutely not. This is like, you know, they, they gave them $10 million. Shouldn't have done it. To shell corporations. See, that's that's why you scam. Like, it's always better to scam a lot of people for a little money than a few people for a lot of money. Because if the people have a lot of money, that means they probably have a lot of resources and power and they know what they're doing. Way harder to do that. You want to take a dollar from everybody, not a million dollars from one person. Big mistake. Cripsy, this, yeah, this, yeah, big mistake. Without Don't any scam the rich, yeah. Business purpose, as were two other of the founders. And Ryan was accused of, quote, using company credit cards mm -hmm. to buy high-end fashion, expensive jewelry and watches, personal health and luxury spa services. What? Why? If only there was someone who could have investigated this sooner. Now, it is really important to say... Logan Paul is not accused by the OSC. Only three of his co-founders and his company is. But given yeah. the history, I had questions. After all, sure. Logan's promotional video about Liquid Marketplace is still up. And the reason many people cared about Liquid Marketplace it's at all Logan was arguably Logan Paul. So here were my questions. Okay, what and as they? I read this, it's important to correct. I say Liquid Marketplace got accused of embezzlement. Technically, the OSC alleged misappropriation of funds 
Those are similar. They're not the same. So I wanted uh -huh. to correct that. But here's what I asked. Quote, did you take any action on hearing these allegations over a year ago? Did you get approached by the Ontario Securities Commission? And is it true that Liquid Marketplace lied about their claims of insurance, appraisals, and co-ownership as the Ontario Securities Commission alleges? You can see I gave him 24 hours to respond on June 26th at 2.03 p.m. And I was promptly sued June 27th at 11.28 a.m. With See, old Logan Paul would have been like, yeah, I knew about them. I knew about them. And uh, yeah, we tried to do something about it, but it wasn't true. New Logan Paul, after the crypto zoo, after he's already fucked this up before, this time he just, <laughs> just sues them. <laughs> yeah, bro, he's learned from his fucking mistakes. Oh, God, why didn't Logan just block the guy? Because then it would make him more aggro. Roughly three hours to spare. Now, I Slow be learner, yep. I don't know the answers to the questions I sent. Maybe mm -hmm. Logan secretly whistle blew to the OSC when I first went to him. I don't know. That's why you ask questions as a reporter. Yeah. But now the story is not about those questions. It's about why I was sued immediately after asking them. Right. And threatened if I reported about Liquid Marketplace in a way they didn't like. Yeah, this I mean, the threat definitely makes it seem like it's not a coincidence. This is not how I wanted this story to come out. Yeah. Because there's still so much we don't know and so much I can't say now for legal reasons. That's crazy. Maybe Logan's totally innocent. Maybe he surrounded himself with scumbags who defrauded his fans. Maybe well, that's never happened before. I mean, you know, except for the, you know, the time. Yeah. But, 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 but besides that, for right? This project. So I that don't know. Happened. Yeah. Because I never got the chance to find out. I tried Again? to investigate, but I was stonewalled and sued right. when I asked questions. Make no mistake, though, this investigation is still ongoing. And you can reach me at the email below if you were affected. I will release my full investigation when it's appropriate, mm -hmm. because even if Logan doesn't want to answer questions, it doesn't mean I have to stop asking them. Right. So in summary, Logan's lawsuit is not about my original reporting into CryptoZoo. <laughs> even if you take this lawsuit on its own without context, it's an argument over Logan not refunding victims in full. It's Logan insisting he's not to blame. It's all his business partner's fault. But I don't think that aligns with the publicly known facts. That's my opinion. For years, well, Logan- Well, no. I mean, like, he's an owner of the company. Saying that he's responsible doesn't mean that the business owners aren't responsible. They're not mutually exclusive. That's not how it works. Logan has control yeah, of CryptoZoo. And yet, the game is still not out. Logan is now blaming the government for that instead right. of himself. And he also blames me for losing his good reputation. But you can't lose something you never had. Not to mention. Yeah. Logan is arguably richer than ever. And he's on mm -hmm. the record finding my reporting thorough and good hearted. Yeah. So this defamation lawsuit feels frivolous even on the surface. But if you dig deeper, there's an even more compelling story, which I personally believe. Okay, what is it? Where the it? goal is to crush new investigations while taking revenge on old ones. In this version, Logan might not even care about winning. Legal battles are expensive. Yeah. And in the world of money, he's got me beat. So he can try to silence me by weaponizing the law. He can sue me for doing my job. He can sue me for asking questions, and he can sue me for asking for refunds. Sure. But it's going to backfire because I think it reveals Logan as a bully rather than someone who's truly sorry. Because Logan may be a master at convincing people he's changed, but I'm convinced it's the follow through where things go wrong. Well, you I know? don't think that people really care. Like, and, and this is really what the problem is, right? Where I, I don't think that people really care about CryptoZoo that much. It's the same as like every other, yeah, people just forget. Like, that's why this is so surprising to me because like, I feel like Logan Paul made off like a bandit. He, he did CryptoZoo, he got exposed for it, he said, thanks for exposing me, he made this video, everybody, but this was like a year ago, nobody remembers that. Like, I just, I don't understand, like, why would you do this? Why would you go and expose yourself in front of everybody? They would care if they lost money? Yeah. Don't care, don't feel bad for the, uh, the, the, the victims either? No, I'm just saying, like, yeah, he got, like, you got away with it. It, why are you like what is this it, it's it's like this ego yes 
It's like, I remember this- This is gonna sound stupid, I remember in Django Unchained, when fucking Christoph Waltz shoots Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm like, you already won! Why would you do this? It's over! It's done! But you fucking ruined everything for no- Fuck, man! Like, and I feel like that's what it is, you need- I can't, like, why do you do this? What's the point? Especially going after CoffeeZilla. You should have gone after a smaller person that couldn't fight back as much to set an example. Like, why would you go after CoffeeZilla? He's like the most well-known person. Like, it's just, oh, Jesus. Yes. I couldn't resist. I know. Ah. Uh. The actually changing How part. How would you do there this? There was a time where even I believed Logan was going to fully refund victims. That's why I was so nice to him and tried to help despite him threatening to sue me. Yeah. But when it came time to pay up, Logan chose a minority refund and to fight the rest of the victims in court who wanted their money. Right. And when I complained about that, Logan went from sorries and thank yous to lawyers and I'm suing you real quick. Right. The irony is it was that same initial belief in Logan's capacity to change that also made me bring up Liquid Marketplace to help stop potential problems. Well, I mean, like that, yeah, that's a mistake. I mean, the thing is like somebody, I don't really believe that people change. I know this is going to sound like kind of a doomer statement, but I don't really think that they change. I think that there are like maybe a little bit, there's a shift here and there. But like if somebody's going to do this once, they're going to do it again. Of course they will. Like I've never been wrong with this kind of stuff. Like every, every person that I know that's been like a thief or a liar, they've been a thief and a liar their entire life. They've always done it. They're always going to do it. That's it. And yet here we are. The company is now accused of being a multi-layered fraud yep. by the OSC. And the CEO, who I tried to talk to, to multiple honest, times, is alleged to have misappropriated money. Mm -hmm. This is despite me trying to talk to Logan directly many times as he asked. Maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached out to me right. personally. Not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. Well, I did try to reach out personally, and I got sued and threatened a day later. That, I think, says a lot about Logan's supposed change and his belief in accountability. Maybe the person he really believes in accountability for is, you. is not himself, you. but me. Specifically, yes, when right. I try to get accountability from him. There you go. If you want to support this lawsuit, the best way is coffeezilla.store. You have 14 days. That is crazy. Or support on Patreon. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. The liquid shit doesn't as Logan scared. Well, here's the thing is that anybody who does any kind of like scam like that, they will eventually keep doing it until they get caught. Because one thing that I've learned about like people that do this stuff is that it's not even for a lot of them about the money. It's about the fact that they're doing it and it's working. It's like the, uh, it's the love of the game, right? It's not just like, oh yeah, this is like, yeah, we're doing this for whatever reason. Yeah, it, it stops being about the money. It's about the thrill, right? It's about the ego thing, exactly. So Logan Paul has enough money to like, you know, retire easily, easily, right? He's fucking rich. And so what is he doing this for? He's doing it for the thrill because he can, bro, because he fucking can. Vaudzilla has a video about the insurance. He got scammed out of one million. Jesus, man. He loves fucking people over. Prime is being sued. As I said, man, if you have an apple tree, what comes out of the apple tree? It's an apple. You're, you're never going to have a watermelon come out of that fucking tree. It doesn't matter what it is. One million goddamn. Yeah, I know. Scamming is addictive, just like greed. Yeah, it's for brand damage. I think this dude totally made a mistake. Logan Paul totally made a mistake. I'll link you guys the video. Give, give him some support. I think I'll, I'll, I'll buy a t-shirt, right? And uh, can you trust Elon if he launches his crypto? You can't trust any crypto. You can't trust any of this stuff. There's no regulation for it. Like, it, it, you, you, can't, you can never do that. Like, this is a big issue that a lot of people don't really seem to understand, is that the reason why regulation happens, every regulation is a direct result of a scam. Like, there was some scam that happened in the past, and, and then this, this happened, and they're like, okay, well, we can't let this happen anymore. Now we have a rule against it. 
or some degree, yeah, some degree of fuckery. Like, think about some degree of scam in the robber baron's days. That's the reason why this regulation probably exists. It's because people already did that. So, yeah. We Google talk to a copy. Yeah, I, I read that seven times now. Um, yeah, so it feels like people have lost their minds lately. Yeah, of course it is. And uh, does losing the side of the lawsuit have the burden of to refund opposing sides' expenses? Um, I, I don't really know. Like, I, I feel like really the accusation is going to be that he was scamming, right? Logan Paul didn't scam people because he gave them a refund or that it wasn't a full refund. I think this is a lawsuit that... It's like one of those things where you... Like, if you guys have ever been in a situation where you could come on... Uh, you could come out on top of a conflict, but the effort and the time and the energy that it would take would just not be worth it. It's like, for example, like you can, like if you get in a fight with a cat, you can beat a cat. You can beat a cat in hand-to-hand -hand combat, physical combat, but you're going to be scratched up. You're going to have bite marks on you, and it's not going to feel good. And that's why people don't get in fights with cats. It's one of the reasons. It's because it's not worth it. It's not because you can't win. It's because winning isn't worth it. And that's, I think, the reason why he's doing it. It's like a porcupine. Most animals can kill porcupines, right? Like a leopard or whatever. But killing a porcupine fucking hurts. And it's like, do I really want to do this? This is awful. This sucks. And so, yeah, I'll just go find something else. Yeah, yeah, a honey badger? Yeah, something like that, right? Uh, morally, yes, exactly. And so that's the way that I see it. Why do I want to fight a cat now? I'm just saying. You see someone's trying to sue Bandai Namco? I did see that. I, I, I saw it. Yeah, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. That's a good way to say it, man. It absolutely is. So, yeah, uh, literally cost-based analysis at its uh, finest. Exactly. So, yeah, that's, I think, what Logan Paul is trying to do. Logan Paul dealing with the consequences of his own actions impossible? No, Logan Paul dealing with the consequences of his own ego. All you had to do was stop talking about this. Stop talking about it. It, would, it was gone. Like, if, if CoffeeZilla had made another video about CryptoZoo recently, people would be like, oh, wow, CryptoZoo again. Ha ha, funny. Nobody would have cared. Like, you just did this. Yeah, why would you do it? I don't understand it at all. Yeah, Logan Prime is also getting sued. Oh, yeah, no. And that's the thing. If you have an apple tree, apples come out of the apple tree. That's how it is every single time. So, yeah. My head hurts thinking about Logan Paul mindset. I don't understand it at all. Some of this stuff is just, uh, none of it makes sense to me. He'd rather go through all this and fire five lawyers rather than pay some people some money back as wild. Well, yeah, of course he would. Like, because it's going to cost less money. He can hire and retain all the lawyers for like $2 million, $1 million. But he's going to have to pay people back $8 million. I mean, I feel like it's pretty simple math there, right? I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. We have Zigo. Yeah, I guess so. I just can't believe that you would do that. Like, what a bad decision.